Hey, how's it? This is The Foundation coming at you with the Patriots versus Rams Super Bowl 53 prediction video. <clears throat> I was 0-2 in the conference championship games. So I'm kind of nicknamed because this is what happened in the game. I'm nicknaming this the controversy ball <laughs> or the non-call ball. <laughs> um, and see, I hate to do this ball about the referees because I think I think they need to take the gray area out. You know, um, I think, you know, this really quick on the referees, you know, because what's that going on? I'm glad it's brought it to the forefront. I think if every fan, if, you know, I know we're going to be very biased, you know, and subjected to a lot of it, a lot of the calls. But if you can at least take the gray area out and then, and then call it, you know, call it as much as you can down the middle. You know, I think every fan will be satisfied with that. If you take the gray area out, like, oh, he, well, they're emphasizing this, they're emphasizing that. Oh, see, look, they're emphasizing that, that roughing the passive call, so you gotta call it on the other one. You know, so, because you guys emphasizing on it. You know, if they can take those parts out, I think it would make the game better again. Um, but, see, look, I. And, and it's taken away from what is, it is a great storyline of this Super Bowl. You know, you got the Patriots going in uh, with Bill Belichick, Bill Belichick and Tom Brady going to the ninth Super Bowl together. You know, um, you know, and then and on top of that, you know, where, whatever your opinion, I, I have my own opinion about both of them. Um, but at, at the same time, too, you know, like, it is a great accomplishment to see them in their ninth Super Bowl, you know. Do you get tired of it? That's 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 all up to up to everybody's own opinion. But at the same time, too, it, like I said, it's a great accomplishment. Um, you know, but the great storyline is that when they won their first Super Bowl title, it was against the Rams, the greatest show on turf. This and that, blah, blah, You know, there was a there was they were supposed to be the dynasty in in the uh, on the come up, and you know the but the. But the but the, with the you know, but with that being said, with them beating the Rams, you look at the this year's against none of those players are on those teams, you know. So, so but you got the coach and the quarterback. You looking at Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, McVay and golf. How young were they? That's the other storyline. Like, what four, five, or six for golf? Maybe 10, 11, 12 for you know McVay, whatever. Um, I don't. I didn't. I, I'm pretty sure they brought it up, but I. I wasn't. You know, and I'm not really paying attention. <clears throat> but that's a great storyline in itself, and you know, and with them, you know, that they 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 like. Well, you know, Bill Belichick has all the experience. Um, Tom Brady, you know, nine Super Bowls, blah, blah 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 blah. You know, all that, and you know, and at that time. At that time, you know when that, you know everything was about the Rams in, in that in that um, in that game. Everything was about the Rams, and then you got and then you got the, the 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 underdog Patriots. Now the roles is reversed. You know, other than the 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 only thing that the the Patriots are going under the radar bar is about is about the controversy calls, but it's neither here or there. But um, but now is everything about the Patriots, the greatest quarterback, the greatest coach. But uh, you know, I have my own opinions about it. But you know that it, it, it that's the storyline. And then now the Rams are like the, you know, well, how are they gonna win with this with this, with this young coach and a young quarterback? You know, like you know, even though like however the betting the betting thing is going, you know everybody's you know in the favor of of the of the Patriots. Everything is about the Patriots and all that. So the roles has reversed. Um, oddly enough, about this whole thing, really sidetracked. That was the last Super Bowl I ever missed watching live. Um, I mean, I watched it, but at the same time, too, I was working, so I didn't get to. I, I didn't get to watch the whole game. I was a total heckle <laughs> that whole game. <coughs> uh, man, I was. I, I mean, I wasn't hoping like, oh, your team sucks, and uh, you know, you know, my my Cowboys was horrible at that time. And but the funny thing was, was that. Was that like let's say the Rams did a good play, and I would cheer, and then the Patriots do a good play, I would cheer again. I go, yeah, that's the way you go, you know. I'll just do that, and then the guy's like turning around, like what? 
you know, I'm like walking, you know, I'm doing my job and I'm walking around <laughs> at the same time. And, um, and then I'll, I'll, you know, cause I used to work as a waiter back then <laughs> and, and I would, I would walk away and then I, and, and then I'll come back. And then when the patrons do, you know, a patrons do a good play, I'll boo. And the said, likewise with the refs, I'll do, I'll do the booing and all that. But what's funny about that one, there was a lot of cocky Rams fans at that time. And, uh, you know, and it was like a big upset, you know, at that time too. And what what I said was like, nah, this is not, I mean, you know, before the game, I, you know, like some people was talking and all that. And I said straight up, I go, this is not going to be a blowout. There is no way this game is going to be more than, more than, more than six points. And all that. And then Ra some Rams fans was pissed. And I was just like, nah, I'm just... And then some preachers said, yeah, see, look, this guy know what he's talking about. I go, well, I'm not saying the preachers are going to win. You know, I picked the Rams to win, but I didn't think it was going to be a blow. Um, so, so it is what it is with that. And that's what the thing is with this. And like I said, there's a lot of other storylines. You know, if you watch Uncle Lou, you know, one of the best, you know, biggest uh, Georgia Bulldog fan. And, you know, one of the greatest college football video makers I've seen, you know, I'm a huge fan of him. And, you know, he has his guys in this game. He has, he has Sony Michelle and Todd Gurley. <laughs> you know, so, so, you know, that's, that's another storyline in here. <clears throat> you know, Aaron Donald, one of the best, you know, I wish, I wish the NFL would go back to those days of having other positions, letting them be, letting, letting them be in the storyline of the Super Bowl. Letting letting them be in the high the headline of the Super Bowl, you know someone like Aaron Donald, you know he was my favorite, you know player in that draft, and you know like he deserved all the accolades. You know, I miss those days when you had like you know guys like Lawrence Taylor, Mike Singletary, uh, Reggie White, Deion Sanders. You know all those defensive you know all those defensive players having great you know Ronnie Lott and you know all those guys having great great you know. You know publicity on them, and you know now it's quarterback offense, quarterback offense. You know it, it's frustrating. You know I miss those days. You know and all that. But um, but anyway, you know you got you got that you got you got um Aaron Donald in that sense. Um, so now to the prediction video, the part of the video. I got a gut feeling about this, but I cannot. I can't bet against the Patriots. I'm picking the Patriots to win. Um, is I don't think it's gonna be like how last year's Super Bowl, but I do think it's gonna be high twenties, maybe, maybe low thirties. But um, I mean, still gonna be an entertaining game. But I just see the Patriots coming out on top. Like I said, with Sony Michelle coming out in this playoffs, he's he's contributed a lot. You know, um, Edelman has come on. Gronk has come on. You know, the Tom Brady, I don't think, has been sacked in this game. I mean, in this playoffs. I, I, I think that's a stat out there about that. Maybe, if anything, maybe one time, maybe. Um, maybe two times. I don't know. But I know that he's been very, very, you know, well protected. Uh, so, huge props to their offensive line. Their defense, you know, has come on as well, too, as far as getting pressure and stuff like that. You know, with Fowler and, you know, Flowers and all that. Flowers, sorry. Um, you know, and all those and, and all those guys. So, so I I just think if the game is gonna come down to the wire, I just think the the Patriots, defensively or offensively, will come out big in the end. Um, if the Rams was to win, you know, um, of course Todd Gurley, <laughs> um, C J Anderson needs to run the the hell out of the ball, the offensive line. Needs to continue playing the way they do. Um, golf, though, golf needs to take advantage of every opportunity. If there's an opportunity, he needs to take advantage of it. He cannot. The Rams cannot let allow to let anything leave anything on the table for the Patriots because they'll take advantage of that. Um, defensively, you know, you know, talking about Aaron Donald and then Indomitian Sue, you know. Um, you know, as much as people label Dominic and Sue as a as a dirty player and all that, um, you know, you heard after after he when they won the NFC Championship, 
you know, he was crying because and and, and I'm glad that that it matters to some players still yet, you know, in that sense of like, man, this is this is his dream. So it's great to see something like that happen. Um, you know, to hear about it, you know, like in that in that sense. But can they get the, the pressure on on Tom Brady? Can they break that that wall of you know do what the Ram, um, do what the Giants did and all that? And you know they need some takeaways, and you know they need to not leave opportunities for you know or giving them second chance or third chances at things because Tom Brady will take advantage of that. So yes, I have the I have the Patriots winning this game. All right, that's my video. Mahalo for watching. But it is always, Paniola boys, and go cow.